as you check the children. Show a little mess Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Hey, sometimes that is better. You're gonna need a bigger boat. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the horror show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Robert Dool. I mean, Fuego here. And we are, I guess, kind of beginning a voyage because this is probably yeah, going to be is. the first <laughs> of the reviews um, that, that I'm going to end up putting up uh, because, frankly, The Toll, uh, which is, even though we reviewed Hellbound Heart, which is the first thing, The Toll technically takes place after movie two. So mm. this will likely have to go first. So we're reviewing Hellbound Hellraiser 2. And uh, that is the continuation of Kirstie's story from the first movie. Uh, also, Julia's story from mm -hmm. the first movie. So this one is uh, Kirstie dealing with the fact of what she had to go through in the first movie and getting drawn back into it because Julia is brought back via the mattress that she died on. Did she die on the mattress? Well, no, her blood was on the mattress. Technically, mm -hmm. she died, She got her face sucked off by Frank on the stairwell. That's right, yeah. Yeah. But uh, nonetheless, she claws out of it, and this dude that is obsessed with what might have happened... This doctor guy, right? Starts, yeah, oh, yeah, starts providing her with victims, and she In comes back. In a fashion. Yeah. yeah. Like, that, that scene with the guy, basically, like, imagine, like, the, the maggots all over him, like, mm -hmm. that was... Up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this one went farther than the first one in, in a oh, lot of ways. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, it's a sequel. That's double down. I mean, I always talk about the Cameron approach, Aliens, T two, and yeah. so on. And this film definitely did that, especially with going down into the labyrinth and everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it with went the, for it with the Leviathan yeah. uh, lament configuration mm -hmm. overseeing it all and yeah. everything like that. Uh, yeah, I. So overall thoughts, I really like this movie. I think this is. I, for a while, I liked this better than the first one. Mm -hmm. I still do. I, I, I think I have mixed feelings. In certain ways, I, I do. Say that, but I like sure the that. originness of the first one, but frankly, this has more interesting stuff to me. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I really dig this one. I think it. I mean, does that mean it's my? Fa it might be my favorite Hellraiser movie. Then, if that's the mm -hmm. case, um, if I like it better than one, I certainly don't like any others better than this one. So yeah, mm -hmm. I guess this is my favorite Hellraiser movie. Mm -hmm. Um, your overall thoughts? Guys? Overall thoughts? No, I, I dug the hell out of this one. I definitely thoroughly enjoyed it more than the first one just because we got to see more of the Xenobites. We got to see more of hell. We were introduced to, to um, basically Leviathan without actually seeing the entity itself. We saw how Xenobites were created. Exactly, that yeah. too. And that was that was the one thing that I've always was curious before even watching this and like in the cut before reading the comics. Well, what's, the, what's the process basically? Like mm -hmm. you got little nit, nitpicks and everything of Doug Bradley's character kind of like in flashbacks of being created mm -hmm. and then when we finally got to that scene the, it, it nullified everything it was great mm -hmm. now overall thoughts I love this movie yeah, yeah I'm, I'm with you I, I used to always say the second one because of the creature factor and the fact that it was a little more action centric in certain bits and I liked it better but I think after reading Hellbound Heart finally and just seeing how faithful in many ways the film was it's it's more of a horror film in in ways than the, the OG one. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. They're like neck and neck at this point. Whereas I used to always say Hellbound was was a superior product. But I mean, I I like the uh, Tiffany and Kirsty relationship. I love uh, bringing back uh, what what Julie Julia Julia yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Julia as the villain. And also when when we get the full fledged version of that Doctor villain and him mm -hmm. going after you know Pinhead and the other Cenobites. That's and, and it's got a terrific ending too. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, yeah, this one's solid, man. It's a great movie. So, it's yeah, candid. we've kind of touched on the story. I, I liked how it played out. It was not only a, a great continuation of the first one, but as you said, it made it bigger, it made it yeah. grander, it deepened the lore tremendously. Big time. And I was a big fan of it. And, in fact, it is what I'm calling back to the most in my head while reading the Scarlet Gospels yeah. because there's a lot of time spent in hell and mm -hmm. a lot of that imagery yeah. and stuff like that so, well, so when they was... talk about the labyrinth and everything like yeah. that so you yeah. basically can visualize what it would actually look exactly. like exactly and this exactly. was the last one Barker actually had a hand in co-writing correct right. mm -hmm. yeah yeah although he didn't direct it but still I mean yeah. but yeah so story-wise you guys were satisfied too oh, I am right man yeah. oh yeah so acting I think the acting is good too uh, again Frank didn't return so you could kind of tell even though he was skinless Frank um, it's uh, it just wasn't the same guy, but it wasn't for an extensive amount though. And so no, yeah. it, it, um, Tiffany played a largely wordless role for the most time. Yeah, like she's, she's, she's like this little mute, you know, kind of. Mm -hmm. But I mean, skilled with puzzles, obviously, mm -hmm. as we know. And 
So, but she yeah. had that innocence that was good. Um, she she acted that well. Julia was her evil self very well. They they Kirstie cranked her up. Job. I mean, yeah. a different type of sinisterness to her in this because of the bloodthirstiness that's transpired. Yeah, I so. always got confused about the hallway scene with the with the creature. Like we saw the creature that chased her oh, at yeah. the end of Hellraiser. Yeah. I always forgot yeah. that that happened at the end of the first movie. Yeah, and apparently, yeah. apparently, like. Um, I don't remember if I was reading it, but like that creature, I thought was called the Engineer. I thought so too. And everything, and then in basically other books and whatnot, and things like even later in movies, they have a whole different name for the Engineer of who it is. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, they, what the hell, guys? I guess that's a spoiler. Yeah, sorry, time. guys. I'm no, sorry. no, no. I mean, you didn't say who it was. I was yeah, about but, to say who it was, mm -hmm. but I guess yeah. that's technically the spoiler. Yeah, it because even in the comics. At one point, you're introduced to him, and he's the on, engineer. On, yeah, on the basically, he's creating things on this for, for, uh, forge. 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 Yeah. God, yeah, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> but yeah, and then he was introduced as the engineer, mm -hmm. on the one who creates a lot of the things in, in hell. Yeah. yeah, so I, I liked that better, and that creature is, is terrifying. Still. Oh, hell yeah. So yeah. I, I barreling through the it's hallway. What I always shit. remember the most yeah. about this movie, man, yeah. and, and the effects of that creature. I mean, it's it's convincing and still hellishly scary. Mm -hmm. so. Well, that's a good segue into the effects. I mean, yeah. that's there there was a dabbling of, of CG with like lightning bit. over the, yeah. the matte painting of the Levi of the labyrinth and stuff like that. Yeah. But but the, the gore effects obviously are are crazy good. Mm -hmm. uh, the the bed itself just looks like yeah. I wouldn't even want to look at it for fear of getting oh, no. diseases. You know oh, what no. I mean? Yeah. It would just transfer via air to my eyeballs. Yeah. Like it's it's so gross and dingy. And um, the the Cenobite again, the doctor, mm -hmm. what happens with him and that actually gave me a little bit of a phantasm vibe. Okay. By the Let's way, another uh, mm -hmm. tier list we can do. Um, uh, but because of the way the little guys are made, right? They get injected mm -hmm. with the yellow yeah. fluid and stuff like that. They're little smushy dwarves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, there's a little bit of that, you know. But I, I dug it, and I had totally forgotten that the doctor tries to take on Pinhead. Mm -hmm. and I was like, well, Damn. he does. Uh, well, yeah. I, yeah. I, I almost spoiled I, the I know, ending I know, because the that's... ending it ties in directly with the third film, yeah. right? with that rotating pillar thing. Mm -hmm. so. Which, yeah. So I again, the the effects were amazing. You guys, mm -hmm. no, I'm, I'm right there 100%. with you. Yeah, like this was definitely a, a, a heavy, even practical, and with a little bit of the CG heavy effects movie. Mm -hmm. But it was done right, especially for like the budget that they had and the and the time and the technology that they were able to work with. It was definitely done right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like some of the chase stuff in the third act looks a little bit like you're on a set kind of thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, man, it's the 80s. But, I mean, aside from that, that's really the only gripe because everything else is pretty, pretty badass looking. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Some of the best in the 80s. So, so yeah, guys, um, I don't know. And the music still maintains. Mm -hmm. um, it's not quite as iconic and in your face as the first one because they're reusing so, yeah, a lot of that really, music. It didn't yeah. really stick to out too much and everything. Right. I was more focused on the actual effects and the gore and visuals like that. And yeah. yeah makes sense so guys hellbound hellraiser 2 uh, best in the series it seems uh, seems <laughs> to be yeah the the consensus here so uh thank you guys very much for actually you know what i think it is the best but i do like another one pretty heftily so oh, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll get onto that one later because yeah. uh, him and i Which are trying on the same page mm -hmm. so I think possibly this guy i'm not trying to we'll see we'll <laughs> see but we're gonna move on to number three after this for now thank you guys very much for watching let us know your thoughts on the second hellraiser movie in those comments down below while you're down there click the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet to make sure you don't miss our other Hellraiser reviews. Now. And while you're down there, click the link to our Patreon. Uh, you can join up and have us review or do commentaries like uh, SK had us do for the first Hellraiser movie. Yeah. So Shut thank out. you guys very much for watching. I've been Cecil Laird. Number Robert Gould. Gracias, I mean, before I go. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared.